we go. That is thunder in December. So this entire video is crack repair on an LMC Snowcat. Um, we did this in two stages. Um, and we found the crack on the front, we repaired it, and then we found this crack in the rear. So the second half of the video is fixing that. But for anyone wondering, this is a 1994 LMC Snowcat. It's a 3700 CF. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It only has like 6,000 hours. Um, it has a Cat 3208 diesel, uh, which is a pretty good engine. It's a V8. Um, that's about all there is to know about it. It has a 14 foot blade with big wings on it. Goes up to about 16. Uh, we took it off already though. And um, there's also a tiller for it. Uh, it's like a big 16 foot tiller. And we took that off as well. Just to fit it in our shop here. But uh, yeah, this is the machine. Here's our crack. up. Got it pulled together with threaded rod. We used Porter Power and then used threaded rod to set it. Went ahead and threw one tack on there. Got to change the battery in the welding helmet though. Got the Miller. Got our templates made up. These are our braces. It's going to be 3 8 steel. We got two. So we're going to have a front brace and a back brace. They're going to be like a nice big C shape. We got some slots water jetted in them so we can weld the insides. We got our heater over here putting in work. Here we go. is the DIY finger break. 3 8 plate. 3 8 plate, no problem. Got the monkey wrench, long bar. Nothing like the hail on a tin roof. Let's check out the welds. So, got a brace in here, and we've got a brace in the back, same way. Don't look too close to that weld there. Got some good ones. One in the back. We got a brace in the front. Stitch all the way around. Now, we're gonna connect a brace from here cross and this is a piece that someone else before us put in and you can see their piece did not do its job but anyway we're gonna put a new brace all the way across this beam here from over here to over here and we'll be done we're here back on the snowcat we've got the front crack repaired We've got the fluids changed and a new starter, but unfortunately, there's another huge crack back here on the bottom. So, uh, today's job is to put it on some railroad ties so we can actually get back there and then weld it all up again. All right, got the machine back on the ground. Okay, you got to lay in here? Yep. Gonna put it on those crane mats there. Back it out right now. 
There we go. We've got dad on the seesaw. On the seesaw. There you go. Coming on in. Yep. There we go. Up on the crane mats. Tomorrow we'll be putting this Miller to work under there. So I just thought I'd go over a few cool facts about this thing while it's in here. Uh, it's a full-size resort snowcat, so it's uh, 14 feet wide um, without the blade and tiller on. It has this stinger, which is sitting at a weird angle right now, but it actually has auto centering. Uh, it raises fully flat like the newer piston bullies do, and they did this in 1994 uh, or even older. Uh, and it's set up like a newer cat. It's not old school. The motor's underneath the uh, cab. The cab actually raises completely, which is really sweet. Uh, and it's got a lot of power. It's a pretty powerful machine. The blade is 12-way uh, standard, so it has wings, curl, lift, tilt, angle, all the things that you want. Um, it's got air ride on the cab. And what else? It has automatic track tension. It's a pretty sweet machine given its age. Uh, and it's actually been preserved pretty well. Uh, it's in decent shape, but yeah, it's cool for what it is. It's got a lot of features for such an old cat. Uh, the blade can do some pretty crazy stuff. I think I have a picture of it. The blade can do some crazy stuff. And uh, the tiller, like I said, goes all the way up, which uh, you don't really get in the older cats. So. So uh, we're back out on it, another day. This is day uh, five, I think, on this cat. And this is the new crack. Well, it's not new, it's just newly discovered. Um, and it is pretty bad. Um, that front one was pretty bad. Uh, this one is probably worse. Uh, but we can see here, this is one inch plate. And when they built the frame, they put this one inch blade here uh, to brace these. And these are box tubes. They're a rectangular tube. Yeah, two by six. Yeah. Uh, and they welded two together. And you can see that they just, this frame member here, this one inch, they didn't bring really very far. Uh, and it just sheared here. And here looks like it really fatigued and dented and yeah not so good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of one inch here that goes down we're gonna weld that on and then we're gonna weld a piece of three eighths across this and we're also going to uh, weld another piece up there to brace it that way on both sides so it's uh, eight plates that I cut up on a water jet and yeah it's gonna be a lot of work but anyway we're under here it's super easy to get under here now because it's sitting up on crane mats so yep time to get to work a few minutes later and we got her all cleaned up got her all nice shiny clean so crud muncher Took all that crap away, and time to get to go. Here we are. We're welded up. Ready for plates. So we just burned in the first plate on this here. Repair. And there it is. So this is a half inch spacer plate, which gets us to this level here, which is a, this is another frame member here. So this half inch plate gets us uh, braced in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and cross it with a uh, piece of three eighths. And the three eighths piece has a bunch of nice slots in it. So we'll be able to weld this entire dimension here. And you can see it's all welded in the slot there. So yeah, let's get that three eighths in there. We got Austin grinding away. And back under here, 
We got this side pretty much done. Uh, I put in the spacer and then I welded on this. This is a 3 inch, uh, three eighths piece that we welded on. And it has an angle on the top. So it actually rides on the top of the frame rail. So it'll keep it from flexing a lot. And it sits way back in here and it's braced and welded. And I'm about to do the same on this side. So I just burn in this. Get some oil there. Surface which sucks. I hate when that happens. Um, I just welded this guy in so you can see we have that top piece welded on it. It rides on the frame so it can't flex very much. And uh, yeah, this piece of I'm about to burn in. So get to weld. At this point, we've got our top plate burnt in and everything up there is good. It's done. Everything's all welded. So, whoa. So, I, uh, me and Austin just went ahead and clamped up this one inch and then just went ahead and I tacked it in. Started laying a pass there. We're gonna do multi pass here because this is some thick stuff. We're going one inch to one inch and then one inch to this is 316th. So, yeah, we're gonna get this welded in and then we're gonna put one more 3 8 strap across this, which uh, will, uh, this repair will be done. I'm gonna do it on both sides. Once you film, there we've got our one inch welded in. Extends this piece now. And then the next part is the last piece. It's a 3 8 Sit right on there, connect it. So that is it. The repair is done. We've got our 3 8 plate onto our half. And those braces, both sides. Time to paint it. All right, so our huge repair is fully done, front and back. Just throw some paint on there. Disclaimer, grinders and paint definitely make a welder what he ain't, and I am not a MIG welder. I am a TIG guy, but anyway, we got it done. So yeah, let's get this baby back on the ground, blade and tiller back on it. So this is bonus crack content. We <laughs> we're just cleaning the machine again, which I realize we should never do again because we always discover bad things. And uh, yeah, we're about to roll it out of the shop, but we found another little crack here by the final drive. This one's very easy, so I'm just gonna weld it up real fast and we're gonna put a little brace strap across it and be done. Get this thing out of the shop. There we are, finished up. Got plates on top and bottom. Rewelded the crack three passes over. Should be good. There we go. Let's get this blade back on. The machine over there. It's all done. Good to go. Blade and uh, compactor tiller back on. That concludes it.